Hello, it's Kathleen Hannigan, Mentor to the Soul of Business. It's Tuesday afternoon. I'm inside today because it's a kind of a dreary, rainy day here and feeling chilly in Salem. End of summer, indeed. Um, I know you received an email from me already today about the telesummit that's coming up. I hope many of you will join me on that. But I didn't want to miss out on sending you a, a Tuesday tip for those of you who um, especially are interested in building your business. Although today really um, this tip is, is really for, for anybody um, who struggles with handling money or having a relationship with money that works. Uh, what I mean by that is a, a healthy relationship with money. Uh, as you know, I was a relationship therapist for many, many years. And in truth, uh, the, the connection that we have with money is like any relationship. If you ignore your partner, never know where, whether he or she is coming or going, you know, you, it, you act totally independently of your partner, that relationship probably isn't gonna last very long or not without a lot of trouble. And the same happens, and the same goes, is true with money. You know, when you, you ignore it, you don't pay attention to it. But if you obsess over it, uh, you know, are worried about it all the time, it's like having a partner that you're calling or texting all the time and saying, where are you? When are you coming home? And, and that's not going to work out too well either. So what kind of a relationship with money do you need to have? Well, let me tell you what I see part of the issue is that many women in particular, I've met men as well, but more often women, and I work mostly with women, um, they, I've heard over and over, I'm afraid of money. I don't like handling money. I leave that up to my husband, or I, I never liked it. I just don't like money. I, I know we need it, but I don't, I don't like dealing with it. I've heard that a lot. Um, no judgment. The truth is that as a collective, you know, women have had far fewer uh, years really exercising the muscle that's required to handle money. I mean, as a collective, I mean our mothers, grandmothers, and, and so on, and, and previous times we couldn't even handle money or, or own land or anything. So, you know, men have been dealing with that for, for many, many thousands of years longer than women have. You say, well, what does it have to do with me? Well, we inherit those, those ways, those beliefs, those unconscious beliefs, and many women don't feel as empowered as men around money. It's still true that a woman can have a certain job and in fact do the same job, even a better job than a man, and she will earn less. So, you know, we, we haven't completely caught up in the marketplace, but we have to catch up inside first with the fact that we can handle money, we can earn money, we can invest money, we can spend money. Well, we do know how to do that. Um, but we can, we can have a relationship with money that's as healthy as any man. And in fact, being women, you know, there's a thing about money that's true. Money flows. Money needs to flow. It's currency. It's currents. currency. It's flow. And many women have an easier time flowing than men um, in terms of being able to, to handle the ups and downs of children and emotions and things like that. So in many ways, women are built for, for handling money and thus built for, for dealing with business. So I wanted to impart that to you today. I know I've written about it before and I'm going to be talking about it more because it keeps coming up um, over and over in my work with women. And, um, you know, it's something that I think each of us can um, take the time to take, you know, to take a look at and get the help we need. You know, there are financial people, there, there are all sorts, there's all sorts of help to, to, to support you in changing that relationship so that you can start to receive more because it, it does have everything to do with being able to receive more in a relationship. How many of you struggle with that? So I'm going to write more about this in the newsletter this week. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of the day. Namaste.